Hey sightseers, it's inevitable when you're traveling that at some point you're going to have to make a decision as to where you're going to eat. And if you're like most tourists, you tend to flock to the places that are generally promoted to tourists. And when you're in Philadelphia, that usually means getting yourself a juicy cheesesteak sandwich. And while these cheesesteak sandwiches may be the bomb, I guarantee you'll be missing out if you don't break out of your cheesesteak coma long enough to hit up one of these three places that the locals like to eat, drink, and pee at. Our first stop is Fairlane Grill, which can be found on Bethlehem Pike here in Philadelphia. Made to look like a 1950s diner, the Fairlane Grill serves up breakfast and lunch and such Philadelphian favorites as Scrapple. In case you don't know what Scrapple is, Scrapple's made out of the parts of a hog, such as the head, the liver, the heart, the bones, all the junky things that are really just gross, boiled down and made into a broth. That broth is mixed with cornmeal. Then it's shaped into a square and fried up in a pan. Sounds positively delightful, eh? Kind of reminds me of like some sausagey pate. Pretty good. After you've filled yourself full of scrapple, you may need to head on down to Indian Joe's Flamingo Room and make a deposit. Don't worry, I'll spare you the details of that transaction, but check out the details of this room. All the flamingos, the shrunken heads. I can almost hear the tiki room music playing in the background. I have to say Philadelphia has some really interesting bathrooms. If you thought that bathroom was fascinating, wait until you see the one I've got in store for you last. But first, we're gonna head on over to South Street and try some authentic Greek fare at South Street Souvlaki. Tom Vasiliades and his staff have been bringing Greek and Mediterranean food to the south side of Philly for over 40 years. And I'll tell you what, it is some of the best cooking I have ever tasted. I feel like Anthony Bourdain. Of course, if we're going to have a true Anthony Bourdain type experience, that means trying the Greek drink of ouzo. Really? Yeah. What is this, ouzo? Cheers. For those of you who don't know, ouzo is distilled from the remnants of grapes and then flavored with anise. Good stuff. Good stuff is right. The Greeks normally drink it full strength. For our final local food, drink, and pee stop here in Philadelphia, we're going to head on over to Campbell's Place on Germantown Avenue. Like the locals, you'll likely enjoy the large selection of draft beers, the cozy comfort food, and the pub-style atmosphere. But what makes this place so unique, and why it made it to our list of top three places of where the locals eat, drink, and pee in Philadelphia, is for its bathroom decor. Okay, you guys have to totally check out this bathroom. Not that I'm into scoping out public bathrooms. Okay, I'll admit it, I check out the bathrooms, mainly because I have the philosophy that if the bathroom's clean, chances are the kitchen's gonna be clean. But this bathroom is particularly interesting. It's inside a restaurant here in Philadelphia, and what's really cool about it is the owner of this restaurant caters to some really famous and rich people, including musicians. And these are some of the events that they've catered. So over here you can see that they catered for Primus, the Dave Matthews Band, uh, uh, Jeff Johnson, who I personally am not familiar with that name, and then Robert Plant, so this is really cool. Uh, just one of the interesting things here in Philadelphia that I've come across since I've arrived. A bit unusual, I know, but the bathroom decor at Campbell's Place puts this restaurant into a must stop if you're ever in Philadelphia, especially since the locals seem to really like the food here. This one here, Bon Jovi. 
That is so awesome. I wish I would have been there for that. In a city of 1.5 million, no doubt we missed some of the coolest restaurants and bathroom stops in Philadelphia. If there's one that you feel we should have featured in this video, leave its name in the comments section below. Until next time, I'm Sightseeing Sally. Keep going. Okay. All right. Here we go. Bottoms up, they say. <laughs> so what are we going to break into today? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna, what trouble we're gonna get into today. But if we have a few more of these, I'm sure it'll be a lot of trouble. <laughs>